class for this video lecture pagsasabayan natin i-discuss magkasunod ano ang sections 117 at saka sections 118 ang section 117 ay patungkol sa domestic common carriers no samantalang pag 118 for international pero ang common sa kanila is that eto po ay parehas common carrier stocks yun po yung kanilang ano no uh, kumbaga doon sila related. Okay? Kung mag, yun nga lang, magpinsan. <laughs> mag, or magkapatid. No? Okay, so let's talk first on section 117. Percentage tax on domestic carriers and keepers of garage. Garages. <laughs> Hindi garages, ano? Mga garahe. Garage. Okay. Uh, please take note of this one. Cars for rent. Mga sasakyan na inuupahan. Or higher, driven by the lessee. Please take note, ano, for this purpose, you should be aware sino yung lessee and how is it different from the lessor. Okay? Sino ba yung lessee? Yung nag-rent, nag okay? Nag-lease ng property or nag-lease ng sasakyan. Cars for rent or hire na dinadrive nung nag-rent. Okay? Kasi yung lessor is yung may-ari. Transportation contractors, including persons who transport passengers for hire, and other domestic carriers by land for the transport of passengers. Please take note, class, what we are talking here is that transportation of passengers, hindi po kasama yung transportation ng mga goods or cargoes. Okay? Pero domestic lamang. Okay? Domestic carriers by land for the transport of passengers maliban sa mga may-ari ng mga bangka at sa sak mga sasaking dagat, pangdagat, ano? Owners of bankas and owners of animal-drawn two-wheeled vehicles. Okay? And keepers of garage shall pay a tax equivalent to 3% of their quarterly gross receipts. Ang buwis po na applicable dito ay 3%. Okay? The gross receipts of common carriers derived from their incoming and outgoing freight shall not be subjected to the local taxes imposed under the local government code of the Philippines. Okay? Oh, but please focus our attention on the first paragraph. Let's identify... What is the percentage? The percentage is found here, 3%. Okay? And this type of percentage tax is what we call the common carrier tax, CCT. Okay? For section 117. Actually, common carrier tax din naman yung 118. Pero mamaya, pakita ko sa inyo. Oh, emphasis. Yung common carrier tax sa provision na ito ng section 117 ay patungkol lamang sa domestic domestic local no common carriers by land hindi kasama yung tubig hangin okay para saan for the transport lamang po ng mga passengers hindi kasama ang goods and cargoes okay domestic Common carriers by air or sea are subject to VAT on their gross receipts from their transport of passengers, goods, or cargoes from one place in the Philippines to another place in the Philippines. Yun yung PH dito. So, ang CCT or the common carriers tax applies only to domestic common carriers by land for the transport of passengers only. Kasi pag by air or by sea, saan sila subject? So, value added tax. Now, meron tayong summary dito ano na ipapakita ko sa inyo. But please take note of this first. Yung mga international flight, flights, <laughs> dahil sa freight, no? International flights or shipments of domestic carriers by air or sea shall either be subject to 0% VAT, yung 0 rated, o kaya naman VAT exempt, depending sa VAT registration ng entity. Balikan po ninyo, kung nakalimutan ninyo, yung discussion natin sa zero rated at sa mga VAT exempt. If you may recall, no, naalala ko pa, meron akong discussion doon na meron tayong 
for ano no for appreciation uh, yung mapa ng Pilipinas at saka may mga barko at saka may mga ano tayo eroplano doon so balikan po ninyo yon class zero rated vat shall apply only to vat registered domestic carriers no while ang non vat registered domestic carriers ay exempt naman from vat so may discussion on zero rated sales pakibalikan kung nakalimutan na po ito now Meron tayong tinatawag ng mga TNCs or actually yung mga TNVs. I don't know if you are familiar, no? Pero kung nagagawi kayo ng Maynila or sa ibang mga probinsya, ibang mga cities na medyo developed at available si Grab, no? Dati meron pang Uber, pero wala na si Uber. Uh, ang pin ang dominante sa ngayon ay si Grab, 'di ba? So, kasama po si Grab dito sa Well, ano sa word uh, dito sa ano na ito no sa companies na ito yung transportation network companies or transportation network vehicle system or TNVs. Okay, ano ba tong mga ito? By definition, according to RM70 series of 2015, it is uh, yung TNC or TNVs they are what? A uh, pool of land transportation vehicles. whose accessibility to the riding public is facilitated through the use of common point of contact either by text, by telephone, or by cellular calls, emails, or mobile applications, or by other means. Although, ang pinaka-ginagamit talaga natin dito is through the mobile applications. Yung vehicles used in transporting passengers and or goods in the TNC may either be owned by other people or entities other entities no na tinatawag natin mga partners okay so eto po yung sumasa cloud dito sa mga or eto yung tinutukoy natin sa TNC or mga TNVs okay kasi kasama po yan ano dito sa ating summary applicable business taxes for TNCs and yung mga partners Ang mga TNCs or partners na may valid na certificate of public convenience na ini-issue ano na hindi lang ako sure kung LTO or LTFRB. Okay, pero meron dapat ini-issue sa kanila na certificate of public convenience. Ang buwis na babayaran nila, na yung business tax na babayaran nila ay 3% common carrier tax under this section. Pero kung sakali na sila ay nag operate pero wala silang CPC, oh, they are classified as land transportation contractor. Ang babayaran nila ay either 12% VAT okay? or 3% other percentage taxes, yung OPT under Section 16 or the 1% ano, under yung CREATE law for the period covering July 1, 2020 up June 30, 2023. kung hindi ka umabot ng 3 million threshold. Okay? So, yan po ano, yung ating uh, may kinalaman doon sa mga TNVs, yung mga Grab. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm not mistaken kasama yata dito yung mga Angkas, ano? yung iba pang mga provider. Mga libawa. O eto, kung halimbawa, nag, dapat nagbabayad ka ng common carrier stocks. If halimbawa, may sasakyan ka and through text kasi magpo-fall ka doon. Ano? <laughs> okay? Ako sakaling organize po ang inyong grupo. All right. Now, ito yung pinaka-summary na sinasabi ko. Transport of passengers, goods or cargos. Ano yung applicable business tax? If by land tapos ang pina-transport natin ay passengers, yan po yung pasok dito sa common carrier tax. 3% tayo, no? Regardless sa gross receipts. Kasi baka isipin ninyo, oh, hindi naman umabot ng 3 million. So baka hindi applicable siya. Pero if we are transporting passengers by land, o domestic transport ito, subject yan sa 3% common carrier tax. If what we are transporting is goods or cargos, no? subject yan sa VAT, under, oh, subject yan sa 12% VAT, o kaya naman kung hindi ka lumagpas doon sa 3 million threshold, section 116. other yung percentage tax no pag not vat registered ka okay o yung 3% na currently 1% o kung sakali no pag lumagpas ka doon 12% vat pag by air or by sea 
O, tignan ninyo, parehas lang yan. Passengers, cargos, they are subject to VAT or OPT under Section 116. Okay? Pag international flights, o, eto, si, tinitable lang natin yung mga previous slides. No? International flights, shipments of domestic carriers, zero rated if VAT registered or VAT exempt. Okay? Please take note of the following. What is imposed on sale of goods or services in the Philippines only? Okay, therefore, outside, no? O, transport of passengers and goods from international flights of domestic carriers, hindi po yan subject sa VAT. Transport operations ng common carriers originating abroad is not subject to business tax in the Philippines. Kaya nga, no? Um, please take note, you have to be very careful of these terms. Okay? O, lagyan natin ng illustration para maintindihan. O, biyaheng langit, for example, no, is a domestic common carrier by land engaged mainly in the transport of passengers in Luzon areas. Due to the increasing demand to transport goods or cargos, so the company purchased no, additional bus units for that purpose. And the company is non-VAT registered. Okay? O sinortcut ko lang, pero pakibasa po nito maigi para wala kayong ma-miss out. The following are the results of 2021 taxable calendar year. No? Gross receipt mo from the transport of passengers ay 50 million for the transport of goods, 15 million. And then we have the following purchases for supplies and services. 12 million and other operating expenses, 3 million. Now, what is the question? Ano yung amount na i-recognize as common carrier's tax? O, tandaan ninyo ha, magkanong porsento niyan? 3% common carrier's tax. Ano yung magiging basis natin? Huwag kakalimutan, domestic, ano, domestic travel, di ba? Transport of passengers, by land. So, although dito wala namang in ah, okay, sa so problem pala given dito by land. So, hindi natin isasama yung transport of goods. So, therefore, ang kukunin lang natin ay yung 3% nitong 15 50 million. Hindi 15 million. Okay? 50 million times 3% ang babayaran natin as common carrier tax is 1.5 million. Gross receipts, okay? Hindi natin binabawas yung mga operating expenses natin. Nasa gross yung pinag-uusapan natin. Additional question. Assuming na itong transport of goods ay hindi lumagpas ng 3 million. So sabihin na natin na 1.5 million lang. Magkano yung i-recognize natin as business tax? Okay? O kanina, ang question ha, common carrier tax. Please take note that VAT is also a business tax, but we have to be very careful of the question. Common carrier's tax ang pinag-uusapan sa question 1. Sa question 2, magkano yung business taxes? Sana hindi ninyo nakita yun. <laughs> uh, because, uh, pause, compute, and play to check the answer. Because our answer here is 1.515. 1,515,000. Okay? Yung 1.5 na common carrier tax plus yung 1% because of the create law, ano, provision ng create law for section 116 for the current period. No? Pero otherwise, kapag hindi scope doon sa period na yon 3% tayo. So yung 1.5, no, kung sakali man ito ay 1.5 million because of the question number 2, times 1% ka lang dyan. So that is 15,000 other percentage tax. Common carrier tax, um, 1.5. And then we have your, tawag nito, um, other percentage tax under section 116 na 15,000. Okay? Kung sa question number 1, tinanong business tax, o oh, VAT din naman kasi, di ba? Okay? Uh, titignan nga lang natin. O oh, eto, lumagpas, di ba? So subject to VAT. Kung sakali yun yung question, eh di 15 million times 12%. Kung ang tanong ay business tax, okay? 1.5, no? So, for the common carrier tax, 
plus the value added tax na 12% ng 15 million. But that is not the case. So you have to be very careful with the questions. Okay? So I hope maliwanag tayo dyan. Proceed na tayo sa section 118. Ito naman, percentage tax on international carriers. Ano naman po ang pinag-uusapan natin dito? Uh, please bear with me. Kasi kinuha ko na lang yung screenshot. Inisnip ko yung nasa website ni BIR for yung tax code nila. Section 118, percentage tax on international carriers. Allow me to read it to you. Kasi masyadong maliit. Baka yung iba sa inyo malabo ang mata. Sa A, international air carriers doing business in the Philippines on their gross receipts derived from transport of cargo from the Philippines to another country shall pay a tax of 3% of their quarterly gross receipts. Tatlong porsyento din. Wow, 3%, no? In letter B, international shipping. Yung A, air. Yung B, shipping. Okay? Doing business, blah, 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 blah. The same. Pinaghiwalay lang po nila. A ay air. B ay shipping. Sa dagat, no? Same. 3% of their quarterly gross receipts kasi quarterly yung payments. Ang tawag natin dito ay common carriers tax din but on international carriers. 3% pa rin naman kagaya ng section 117. Okay? Oh, international carriers pertain to foreign international air and shipping carriers doing business in the Philippines. Yung mga RFC na tinatawag natin sa in sa ano, no? income taxation, yung resident foreign corporation. Oh, please take note kasi sa section 117, domestic, local. Ito, international. So, mga foreigners po ang may, pag may ari, ano Mga resident foreign corporations. For example, oh, Delta Airlines. Uh, before, nung nasa nung auditor pa ako, meron ako naging kliyente, si Japan Airlines. So that is also an international air carrier, no? So ito yung pasok dito sa section 118. Ano yung gross receipts pala? We've been talking of gross receipts even in the previous ano, sections, no? Pero ano yung tinutukoy nito? And we are talking of gross receipts. It shall include the following, although not limited to that. Yung total amount of money or its equivalent representing the contract, freight, cargoes, fees, mail fees, deposits applied as payments, advance payments, and other service charges. Uh, uh, sorry, ah. mukhang maingay yata yung aking background because of the ano, dogs. Okay? And other service charges and fees actually or constructively received during the taxable quarter from cargo and or mail originating from the Philippines in a continuous and uninterrupted flight, irrespective of the place of sale or issue and the place of payment of the passage documents. Ulitin lamang po natin. Okay? Ano ang gross receipts? Total amount ng pera and its equivalent na nagre-represent ng nasa contract. Freight, cargo fees. Mail fees. So iba-iba pang mga sources, ano? hindi lamang yung sa transport. No? Kasi baka may iba pang mga collections. Deposits applied as payments, advance payments, and other service charges and fees actually or constructively received. Okay? Originating from the Philippines. Continuous and interrupted flight. Okay? Irrespective kung kailan ano, or saan binenta. Okay? Saan nagbayad? Okay? So, yun po yung tinutukoy natin na gross receipts. O, ano yung rationale for the exemption from VAT? Okay? Because VAT is applicable only from... Kasi hindi ito subject sa VAT, di ba? Subject sila sa 3% common carrier stocks on international uh, carriers. Kasi... Ulitin ko lang, yung VAT ay applicable only on the sale of goods or services na ni-render dito sa Pilipinas. Eh, international flight 
ano ba, flates ako ng flates, no? Because of the freight. International flights or shipments of international carriers, they are not considered a sale of services rendered in the Philippines. Kaya sila, exempt dito sa VAT, subject sila doon sa common carrier tax. Okay? O example, an international air carrier provided the following data for the current year. So, gross receipts, transport of passengers, Philippines to Canada, 12 million. Passengers, no Canada to Philippines, 8 million. Gross receipt, transport of goods. Okay? And the following ano no, details. Mga additional, pakibasa na lamang po nito. Ang tanong dito is, magkana yung babayaran natin na business tax? Okay? O, pause muna yung video. And then, pag okay na, play and let's compare. The answer here is, eto, 180,000. 3% ng 6 million for the common carrier's tax. Okay? Why? Eto, please take note. Uh, in inanong ko lang, ano, in-emphasize ko lang yung section 118. Gross receipts derived from transport of cargo from the Philippines to another country. Okay? Therefore, hindi kasama yung trans uh, transport of passengers. Hindi rin kasama yung transport of goods cargoes Canada to Philippines. It should be from the Philippines to another country. Therefore, eto lang, yung 6 million lang. At mumultiply natin yan sa 3% for us to get the 180,000. Okay? So yan po ano, sana maliwanag po ito because the next video lecture will be on franchise tax. And this is the end of our lecture here. Hindi ko lang alam kung ilan yung inabot na, no? pero mukhang mahaba-haba na rin. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll try no, to answer all of your queries. Thank you and I'll see you again on the next video lecture. Bye-bye.